Hello, everyone. My name is Robert, and I'm with the Decisions Training Team. Today, we're going to be talking about Decisions 9.2 and the need to knows. So the first thing that everyone would like to know is what breaking changes are being introduced with 9.2. Uh, and we have three of them. Uh, the good thing is that they're all relatively obscure. So the first one and kind of the most important one is that there is a new setting to the settings XML file called allow API doc access. This is going to allow outside API access. So what is the breaking change here? Uh, if you've been given outside service access, it's going to be cut off until you make a change to that settings XML file. Uh, so you can do this uh, through two methodologies. So if you are upgrading from a previous version, you're going to go into your settings XML file and you're going to add in the allow API doc access. You're going to manually put that in and set it to true. And at that point, your API outside access is going to work again or whatever you're using it for. And we're going to have more information on that on our documentation site. Uh, for fresh and clean installs, it's going to be a much smoother process and that setting is going to appear in the settings XML file by default. It's just for upgrades that it won't. Uh, so you'll have to go in and manually add that for upgrades. The other thing is that version 9.2 does not support Postgres 13 or below. So if you are a Postgres user, please upgrade your Postgres before upgrading decisions. You have to be on 14 or above. So you have your choices, 14, 15, or 16. You have options. Uh, but if you are choosing 15 or 16, I might have some bad news for you because our last breaking change only impacts Postgres users of 15 and 16. And it's only going to affect people that are using the Kafka module. So if you are on Postgres 15 or 16 and you are using the Kafka module, uh, Decisions is not going to be able to restart. This is currently also happening in 9.1. So if you really love Kafka and you aren't using Postgres 15 and 16, uh, I might advise waiting all the way till 9.3 because that's when we're going to be fixing this. So that is it for our breaking changes. The last thing we'll talk about is feature deprecation. What is going away with 9.2? Nothing. All your favorite features are still there. Nothing has been taken out. So those are the breaking changes and the deprecation for 9.2. We're going to have another video on all of the new features, which there are many, uh, coming up on YouTube next. So thank you very much.